Shalom Luka, everyone, and Shalom. This is Abdul, aka Yaku. Yes, be free to call me that. Today, I'm here to speak about the the sounds that you read today. You know, if you have a Hebrew Bible, be free to use it. If you have a New King James, whatever Bible level, be free to use it. I won't go cheat you. I'm here to speak. I'm the real ancient Aramaic. Real ancient Aramaic. And my, you know, so I'm here to present to you to talk about sounds today. I put ancient Aramaic real. But um, a meaning from sounds from 111. And I'm here to tell you about it. Describe about it today. It's very amazing because you know, you know, every every one of them is telling you something, and you have to understand that what sounds was telling you about. You know, King David was talking about it in his words, and he say, "Hey, you know," he talked about a lot of situation in, in the in the words. He was praying. He was talking about it, and he made music off of it. He did what he had to do. King David was talking about a lot of things and sounds for his purpose reasons. And I'm, today I'm here to show you the world today about basic destruction before I leave the earth. For, for, for first and, be, and last. And that's what this world is about today. So um, I'm ready to begin. Turn your sounds, chapter 100, 119. I don't care if it's Hebrew or Aramaic. Or any type of language is your alphabet. Be free to use it. I'm going to describe it to you because I'm going to tell you in the Aramaic verse. Alright? Alright. Now, you have to excuse me. I'm trying to get these things together. letter as you see it's called called Aleph right when you look at the sounds on a hundred on a hundred and nineteen on the chapter I know every verse is speak di different on your different translation you have to understand you know different translations still remain the same no matter how you flip it no matter how you this because nowadays even though they do wordplay today to, to, to keep it real what y'all is have to understand, you know, is still speak to remain the same, no matter how you communicate. All right, give God thanks for His true master, the master Yah. All right, now the first one says Aleph, right? And my H R M is Ah, right? It's Ah. When I say Ah, you call it Ayah, Ayah, or Asha, you know. But well, we use the word Ayah and Asha. That still remain back to the Lord. That's that you know this is the beginning. By the Lord. Right? And it means Ah means walk. Other word it means blameless. Like this word in the verse says. Blessed are they who who way are blameless. Who walk according to the to the laws of the Lord. Now you see, I ain't gonna read the whole thing, but but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right there. But I'm go I'm gonna say it anyway. The first verse said, "Blessed are they whose whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord." Blessed are they who keeps his statue. Statue. And seek him with all their hearts. They do nothing wrong. They walk in the in, in his ways. Alright? Now, now he lets you know. Now y'all read the first first verse. You know? Now I'm gonna let leave it to y'all to read it. That first verse is actually tell you something. To follow his way. And that's why he there. He said walk. 
his way. That means walk with his path. Everything. To believe in him. To have faith in him. He have you walk for his reason and his purpose. Wherever everything God put to you, wherever Yah put to you, Yah will always be there for you. If you feel with the Holy Ghost and the Spirit, follow it. If a prophecy tell you something, follow it. And those that say that don't want to believe, well, that's on you. That's up to you. Because there's no force into it because Yah is real. So when he say walk, to walk with him. That's why you hear the word say, Yahshua walk with me. Yes, he walk with you. Master Yah walk with you too. So it's for a perfect reason. And now let's go to Beth. We call it, I call it in Aramaic, we call it Ba. Alright? In Aramaic, they call it Ba. Some of them call it Ba. Well, in Aramaic, I call it Ba. Baya and Basha still remain means house. As the Lord is saying, the Lord is in your house. Like he said, the temple is your home. The temple is part of your home. Your home is either around around you. If you have prayer meeting in your home, or you or or you pray at home with you and your family, that's your home. You doing because you do it for the Lord. If you're in the church or the temple or the synagogue, or whatever you at, you still in the Lord's temple. You still on the Lord's temple, no matter what. That's why, that's why they call it living. That's why they call it living. That's why you use the word living. For his purpose. As the word says, but, or not, how can a young man keep his way pure by living according to your words I seek you with all with all my hearts see you say it again do not let me stray from your command now when you're in the house what you do you follow the rules you respect the rules you know what I'm saying you spread the rules by the priests whatever priest level you respect the rules you follow it but you also have to follow Yah's words for his perfect reason. That's why he used the word living and also pure. And I'm going to tell you, describe it with an individual. Now we got walk and living. Now we got ga. In, in your language, it's called gamble. If, you're, if you have a Bible, now we're going God. I used the word obey. And I'm going to tell you. Do good to your servant, and I will live. I will obey your words and open my eyes that I see wonderful things in your law. See? Wonderful thing in your law. Now, it's already scribed all that. All the words already scribed They telling you already means obey. You obey his law. You follow the law. You follow his words. You obey his word. That's why you use the word Gaya. Gaya Gasha. When you use the word Gaya Gasha, it still belongs to the Lord. It still belongs to Yah. No matter what, it still belongs to Yah. Gasha means, you know what I'm saying, to other meanings itself. Obey, and you see the word serving. Serving. And give God thanks, you know, uh, for the truth, you know. When they say gamo, gamo is just the other sense of the word obey. Alright? Some will call it gamble. That's the meaning of gamble. <laughs> but got. In Aramaic, we use the word, I use the word got. In Aramaic, in ancient Aramaic. Da. 
I said, no, it's a dollar. Some of y'all have a different translation in, in your Bible. Dalit means a dash, a dasha, means dust, life. In Aramaic, we say, we say, kaya, and some say kaye, and as and as in um, in Yiddish they use the word lahayim, means to life, or haya, means life. So um, today it's called Daya and Dasha. Other way it means door is open, but it still remains to the Lord. And you also have the names, and that's the names of the Lord's. I am led low in the dust. Preserve my life according to your words. I count my ways, and you answer me. Teach me your decree. Let me understand the teaching of your purpose. Then I will make, meditate on your wonders. See? He's telling you right there. And he also lets you know. I have chose the way of the truth of the truth. And it says right here. And I know it says right there on your word. Because you know what? Yah is the way of the truth. He opened doors for you to understand his truth, his words. That's why he told David. And he expressed it to David. And David write it down. Because God, because Yah give David a knowledge. He gave it to him. Yah is the only way, and Yah is the way of the truth and the life. And you know what? Yah used Yahshua for a reason. For him to teach us. You see? Alright. Ha! No as He. Right? But... Forgive me. I'm going to go back to the top on this. Life. Life is everything you do, right? You do everything in life. You do everything in life. You out there working. You did everything, this and that. But you don't realize that Yah is the one that's moved you to do something and you didn't even know. If you believe in, if you believe in Yah and you believe in Yahshua, hey, you know what? You know what? He moved you for a purpose. And plus, he put your life in a reason. But what y'all do? Y'all put you in a test. And yes, he could do that. So, so don't think, don't think everything's all gravy like that in life. You know, if you do good, you do good. But if you do bad, my advice, better do right. Do right for y'all. Do right, because he is good. He is made for a good and a bad because, you know, y'all don't play. So I'm letting you know. So that's why he lets you know life and dust. All right? Now I'm on head. In Aramaic, ancient Aramaic, I pronounce the word hi, ha. Right? Ha. Called ha, haya, and hasha. Other word means teach, right? To understand. I put down understand and keep. The reason why I say understand, because you have to understand what Yah, where Yahshua was speaking, where his words, you know, Yahshua did speak parable. He's speaking for his purpose and his reason because because, you know, Yahshua did teach what, what the Father taught him. And, you know, it belongs to Yah. And Yah give it to him to teach you and tell you. To understand. To understand his words. If you're in that Old Testament, you have to understand with Yah. Yah ain't made this world perfect. <laughs> Yah speaking for Yah to understand. To understand them. That's why King David understands what, what's the purpose. Why... 
why y'all did to him. You see? Remember he was slipping? <laughs> hey, he was made a mistake at that time. And he killed the man for, for over his wife. And y'all told him, like, hey, you know, he would have been punished. But y'all got to let her go. You see? Y'all had to tell King David to let him go. So, you know, to understand, to understand y'all's word, his words, the words you read it today. Whatever translated Bible you had, you better follow that words. Because this is the truth. This is real. But you also have to understand it. That's why I'm telling you about sounds right now. To give you an understanding of sounds. Psalms. 119. For every alphabet. For a purpose and reason. To understand. He said, Teach me, O Lord, to follow your degree. Then I will keep them to the end. Give me an understanding. I will keep your law and obey it with all my heart. So you better mean it in your heart. You better mean it. If you're serious, you mean it, stick with it. Don't don't portray it. Don't turn around. We understand we're not perfect around this world, but hey, you know what? We go down, but y'all do give us a chance. That's why we call on Yahshua, because Yahshua is the only way he had to talk to y'all to give us a chance. For his perfect reason. Just don't keep doing it constantly, because y'all will turn your back. He will turn around on you. Amen. Amen. Um, wow. Right here is wa. Wa ya. Washa. In H I R M A, my pronouns. Salve means fast salvation. Un. Fell in love. Salvation. Now in his words say, May your unfilling love come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then I will answer the one who will attend me, for I trust in your words. See? Y'all can lift you up, and he don't want you to be ashamed. He wants you to be open with his words. He wants you to tell them. And also, and also, he also put hope in you. That's your freedom, is to speak, to walk with him, to follow him in his words. Za, in ancient Aramaic, I call it Za. They call it Zayin, Zayin. Remember your words to yourself, to your servant, for you have giving me hope. My comfort in my suffering is this. Your promise preserve my life. Yup, it's in your life. It's in your life. Comfort. See, comfort. Comfort your words. That means you have to feel confident with God's words. You have to feel Yah words. Yah is the only way. When He tell you something to feel it, you have to comfort it. When He comfort you for it, that's it. It's over, bro. Like you know, it's good. It's a good thing. He telling you for His purposes and His reasons. All right. This one here. Head. And that one said ha. Hasha. Hatya. Means promise. The Lord. I put the word promise and Lord. Alright? And this one here. Promise the Lord. You are my potation. O oh Lord. I have promised to obey your words. I have saw your face with, with all my heart. Be glorious to me according to your promise. 